Hey there RC guys and gals, Tony here, CCXRC, and we've got a little bit of a build update kind of video. Working with the SCX10, I guess it's not a build, it's an upgrade. So uh, we're going to be installing uh, a new gearbox in the SCX10 here. I've got it stripped down, if you may have seen it in my last video. Uh, but we uh, we have some issues with the gearbox. I've already gone ahead and I've detached the drive shafts from uh, this. I've got three screws to pull here. We're going to pull out the gearbox here and I've got some nice new stuff. Well, let me show you what we've got going on here. There goes the lid. The hot racing aluminum gearbox to put in here. It looks really slick. Nice uh, black where they've you know filed down these edges to give it that nice uh, look there with the contrast between the black and the silver or the aluminum uh, as well as the hot racing lightweight gear set for the SCX10 so we're gonna put metal gears in uh, because running the dual motors it didn't take very long probably about four runs before we uh, toasted the plastic gears that come stock in the SCX10 but, you know, it's one of those things where I didn't want to upgrade it until I needed to, and now I need to because it was totally shot. Uh, lots of clicking and things going on. But again, I'm running the dual motors, so the thing that'll be interesting is to see if the, the actual gearbox by Hot Racing is pretty much an exact match, but uh, just in metal to the uh, gearbox here that came stock in the SCX10. So that's what we're going to be doing today guys. We're going to take this apart and we'll show you me just uh, building the new one to put in here and uh, it looks pretty straightforward. So we'll get this on the bench and we'll start digging in. One, 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 one more thing. I've got some precision bearings here from Boca that are going to go into the uh, SCX10 as I start working on all this. Um, so I needed some new bearings in there. I've got some squeaks and some other things going on. So uh, I'll start with the main bearings here around the gearbox that I have to do anyway. But then I'll have to go through into the uh, the axles and replace those here in the future. I'm uh, going camping with my family, so I don't know if I'm going to have time to tear down the whole thing and build it up before I go. I just want to make sure I have this thing running because where we're going is totally beast. I've been there before. I was there in the spring. Uh, near. Uh, Natural Bridge, Virginia, uh, lots of water, lots of rocks, just an awesome place to run scale trucks like this. So I need to have it running. So I just need to get this gearbox fixed first, and we'll see how much time we have and see if we're going to do any more bearing work. So let's get on the bench. Alrighty guys, here we are on the bench. Just a quick couple of screws. They make these really relatively simple to get out. Just have to uh, find the right bit that I need. I'm pretty sure it's the green one. Here we go. Motors and everything just gonna drop here to the bench. Last one. And it's dropping already. They're dropping like flies around here. Alright, so this is really all we have to work with is right here. I'm gonna have to take this all apart because mainly we're looking at getting in and replacing this. So um, Looks, we can probably keep all this together and uh, just remove a few. Well, nope, we got to take it apart in order to get these screws to get the gearbox off. So I lied. So there's a little bit of wrenching to do. Try and keep it uh, as organized as possible as we go. But it's uh, July 3rd, almost Independence Day. This video will get up a little bit later. But uh, I'm trying to get this thing ready for a camping trip again. Family's going camping here after the 4th to celebrate my uh, youngest son's 6th birthday. And so we're heading up to Natural Bridge, Virginia again. Very beautiful spot. We camped there uh, last, or no, not even last. It was this spring we were camping there. So. We're heading there again, and um, really, really enjoyed our time there, and so we're looking forward to getting back there, especially for running these scale trucks. It's a very ideal spot because of the rocks and the water, and so my truck is waterproofed, 
So that's all good. We're going to keep all of this stuff together. Uh, I do not have a mat. I'm not cool enough to have a mat, so we'll uh, we'll have to get a cow RC mat here soon. It's definitely the ideal way to be working on this. But for now, we're just going to keep things laid out as orderly as possible to make sure that the reassembly goes as smooth as possible. There's nothing like having RCs down. It's uh, one of my least favorite things. I like my cars to be running. I know there's a lot of guys out there um, who have just like parts and things, maybe only one of several cars that they have uh, running. And I try to keep as many running as possible because at any moment's notice I may want to run one over the other and I want it to be working so I don't like to have any of them kind of in limbo so when they're down I try and do whatever I can to make sure that I have parts on order so that maybe even if it's not running when I want it to I have the parts where I could do a repair the night before to get things back up and running, which is what I've done with this. I've had these parts now for about a week. I uh, haven't had any need to do crawling or have it running, so it has not been priority. So now we're just uh, removing the gearbox. This is the last piece. We're leaving all of these braces together. Hopefully I'll, I'll probably have to actually go back and watch this video and see where these spacers were that are now falling out. Yeah, again, this is a piece that I probably should have been looking at replacing right when I did the dual motors. In fact, there were people commenting on the videos when I did the dual motors saying that I was going to need metal gears in my gearbox. And so, for those of you that said it, you were right. You were right all along. And now, uh, now I'm having to pay the price and do extra work. I should have done this when I had it apart the first time. So this is the mount that I have from level 3 RC, the dual motors. Um, very, very great. I love the power that it has with the uh, the dual motors. Some of you will remember, actually one of these spacers was lost during the build and uh, level 3 was nice enough to send me another set uh, of spacers to finish the build. So again, a big thank you to them. just really gunked up in there so we need a few pieces from this like what I was just grabbing onto um, so we do have to still disassemble this piece here and uh, I'm not I'm doing the cheaters way I don't actually usually recommend this or do this but I'm just using these uh, needle nose to hold the nuts on this as I take it apart um, because you can can run into some issues doing that but there we go we are apart we've got bearings, we've got all of these pieces in here which are then going to be replaced with these metal ones but before I do I just want to make sure they look Looks like the kit is the same size, so we're good. But I'm going to have to go ahead and take some of these pieces apart and put them in this new one. But I want to kind of inspect this and see what got destroyed. Oh, here's what got destroyed. We chewed up here on the top. You can see how flat it is. These ones all look good. But it just mash these teeth right out right up there on the top so that is what we're dealing with all right so we're just going to go piece by piece through this uh, and get it reassembled we've got our trusty marine grease here with us that we're going to use to help waterproof the uh, new hot racing kit that we've got here go ahead and get this opened up and ready so that when we need it it uh, is ready to just quickly install but look at this 
I mean that's really pretty. That's a nice piece. First off, we've got to get this apart. We're going to clean it up and then we'll get it installed on the new metal gear here. So there we go. Plastic is gone. This is chewed up even a little bit here. I'm going to go back and uh, this is actually pretty clean but we'll clean it off a little bit more. Play the little symbols, the little monkey symbols and uh, we're going to line it up on here. There we go. Line up this side. You know what though, we're going to, uh, it's metal to metal, so we're actually going to use some blue locker here. Just want to make sure that these are in there nice and secure and that they will not be coming out unless we want them to come out. So we'll just dab that excess off. Snugged up. Just hit it really quick, get the extra lock off of there. Next. We've just got this little pin. We've got some bearings in this middle one. I'm going to just dab these in some marine grease before I install them. Make sure we've got some waterproofing going on. Punch it in place. Do the same with the other. So this was plastic. That's extra. So this one already was metal. We're just going to go ahead and replace it. Just going to dab a little bit of grease on this whole thing here. And then once we get the gears on, we'll start go ahead and just kind of run some around them. Some people do extra. Some people don't do as much. I'm kind of in the middle. I try not to do a heaping amount, but I also want them to be uh, running pretty well. So there we go. Now I'm just gonna wipe my fingers off as we reassemble. We've got to get some more bearings going. That'll replace what they use as bearings inside of these guys here you can see they've already got bearings the bearings in and so I'm just gonna go ahead and run a new set of bearings in all of these gonna have some cleanup to do to get all the grease off of everything that I've got going on but that is okay with me Get everything in place again. Need a larger bearing. These Boca bearings are all going to be installed. I've never had Boca bearings before, so these are the first time around with these for me. So I look forward to seeing how they perform. I've heard really, really good things about them. Just haven't haven't run them yet. All right. That's good. Everything's running really, really smooth. I'm liking it. So that's the hot racing one. Wipe my fingers off again because I'm just kind of a marine greasy mess. Oh boy. So here's our junk stuff. I'm going to save these bearings. I'll throw them in a dip. I'll save this little gear here just in case it's needed. Um, make sure that we've got everything lined up. Put this little spacer in here. The rest of it all makes complete sense as to how it goes together. It comes with these screws that will cinch this all down. And so we'll work on that part next. Alright, so next we just have to look at 
a couple of things. We've got a couple of screws in this kit. I'm only going to really be able to use one of these and so we're just looking in here to see which side we have the threading on for this uh, particular screw. And so it looks like it goes in this way. And again, I'm going to hit it with thread lock because we're going metal to metal. Almost forgot. There we go. So this will be thread locked in to cinch this up nice and tight. So that'll hold it all together. Now we've got to work back and install our spacers and our motor mount here. Now this would probably be easier without the motors on it, but I'm gonna just go for it with the motors. And so we just gotta remember which way this goes. Looks like we probably go this way here and it'll sit on the truck like so. Now again I'm gonna have to put the spacers in to all of these so just kind of run all of these through with our spacers on and get it prepped and then push it through here and then just tighten it down and hopefully that's gonna work out alright for us but I'm somewhat optimistic about it going in like so we just lost one of them <laughs> this could be a a lesson in futility let's see here up oh, man yeah. <laughs> yeah this could be awful I might just have to take it all apart Last one to get into place. Is it worth the effort? That's the question. Alright. So this is not proving to be as easy as I thought it would be. My thought is if I can get two of these in nice and tight, it will not move around and I can then work on what is going to be the last one which is in between the motors now the battle is on can we get this last one in without having to remove a motor start putting your uh, answers in the comments before you see Let me know what you think. Can it be done or do I have to remove motors? It's not looking good. I'm not getting a bite. I keep trying here. I don't want to cross thread either. That won't be good. And even if I do get it in, will I be able to cinch it all the way down in between these motors? Or will I lose the ability to grip that nut? Okay, I'm getting some some progress here. Oh, it's tight. All right. There we have it. Isn't it a beauty? Now let's hope I didn't put it on backwards. <laughs> so we can seat this little receiver for the uh, spur gear. pretty good all right it's got good movement everything's looking all right so far make sure you've got your little washer 
Now this is still plastic. This will be upgraded, the spur gear. That's a pretty easy fix. Any point down the line. I don't know why I did not think to order that. But I didn't when I ordered the gear kit. So, actually I didn't order the gear kit. I picked it up at Debbie's RC World. They had it in stock. Now that they've got the new trail course, they've got quite a bit more trail accessories, particularly for the SCX-10. There we go. So now we'll be able to get our mesh set. Make sure these don't move with all that torque we've got. Get it nice and nice and tight. That feels really smooth. Like so. I do these usually pretty tight. I'm gonna tighten it all the way down and I just back it off a little bit. But yeah, that's nice and smooth. Alright, at this point, we're just going to work on putting this back into the truck and then getting the, uh, the drive shafts back on, wire up the motor, and we're good to go. Putting the screws in place that it came with. It came with two short and two long. The short ones go here on the outer edge where it drops in so it's not as much plastic to go through which just makes sense if you're looking at it that's where the shorter uh, bolts would go or the screws and so we're just gonna use some blue Loctite because we're going metal screw into the metal gear box we'll take the longer ones and we'll do them in the top and then once this is in place all we have to do is wire it back up and attach the drive shafts all right, so we're going to drive shafts. We've got these little grub screws here that are a pin. And so what we have to do with these is find the right driver for them, first of all. All right, so we've got the, dry, uh, the grub screw here with the pin on it that's going to go into the drive shaft. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of uh, blue locker on there. So when we put this in, we can, uh, we're going again, metal pin into a metal drive shaft or output from the, uh, the gearbox. And so we want that to lock in place so that grub screw does not come out. So last thing that you want when you're out running is to have that grub screw come out. It's kind of a shame, but the, uh, the beauty of this thing, this aluminum hot racing's gearbox gets covered up when the body goes on, you can see this nice little bling of green staring at you on both sides here. Uh, but really smooth with these gears. Nice and waterproof because it's aluminum, plus we've got that marine grease in there. So, uh, going to have this thing out running this week and have some videos for you guys of it in action soon. So, thanks for stopping by. Have fun RCing, guys, and have an awesome week.